Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. Jess is off tonight. Pennsylvania is enjoying its first day without nearly all COVID-19 restrictions since they were first put in place last year. As of 12.01 this morning, restaurants, bars, stores, salons, gyms, and theaters were able to open at full capacity. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Roberts is in Ardmore with how Pennsylvanians feel about the closest the states have been to normalcy in over a year. Today, residents and businesses alike here in the suburbs were able to get back to normal, and many spent the holiday Monday doing just that while reflecting on the year that was. It's nice to be out. It's nice to be busy again. For the Geibel family, the last day of May turned out to be a first and long overdue reunion. It's really our first dinner out with her in over a year. And a meal with Mama wasn't their only reason to celebrate. Today's my son's 14th birthday. I never thought it would take this long. Never thought it would take this long. I thought maybe a month in the beginning. Geraldine Rizzo usually doesn't miss the special occasions with her grandkids, but COVID changed that. Special year of loneliness, really. With the capacity restrictions lifted, many were eager to get out Monday. Elmwood Park Zoo was bonkers today. <laughs> tons and tons of people. And while businesses admit staffing may limit capacity for now. I've seen a number of uh, applications starting to come through, so looks like people are ready to get out, ready to get back to work. Every step toward normal matters. We've taken everything for granted, coming and going. So as the sun sets on a day marked for those who served and died for our country, may we also remember the sacrifices we've all made to get to today. It's been an experience that I hope our country never has to go through again. As we look to what's ahead tomorrow. Seeing people's faces instead of seeing the mask, seeing smiles. We need more smiles. As a reminder, the statewide mask mandate remains in effect through June 28th when health officials expect to have 70% of the adult population fully vaccinated. Reporting in Ardmore, Alicia Roberts, CBS3 Eyewitness News.